many came, but few were chosen. Seven, in fact, as we go down the lineup, David. Boy, another beautiful lineup. Seven wonderful winners sent to us by the group judges. And here's three of them that won their groups last year. And there is our best in show judge, Mrs. Betty Ann Stenmark. Escorted by Ted Crawford, who is the president of the Kennel Club of Beverly Hills. Great to see him. Some celebs in the audience. And here is our first, the Doberman Pinscher, winner of the working group. Bravo is the dog's name. Here from Ohio, the only non-California dog in the final lineup. Andy Linton handling for owners Kenichi Kato, Jocelyn Mullins, and Kevin Mullins. And he's well known for his Dobermans. He's got another one here, I believe. Oh, it's a beaut. Just beginning its American campaign. It was the top dog all breeds in Brazil last year with 42 bests in show. As you'll notice, this best in show ring was specifically designed for the Beverly Hills Dog Show presented by Purina. You and I had a little bit of a hand in that, Mr. David Fry. <laughs> Remember right here in the restaurant. We designed it on a napkin, I back think. Back of napkins and coasters. <laughs> My best ideas I find the next morning on the back of coasters often. It adds so much, <laughs> and you can see what a stellar crowd that we have. Beautifully done by Carson International designing our rings for us. Yes, historically they have been such a wonderful group in helping us bring all of our shows here on NBC. There are more of the celebs in the crowd. Here's Colt, the English setter, Winchester's Made My Day. Yeah, this is a, just a beautiful, beautiful coat on the stock. Lovely dog, Stuart McGraw, handling for owners Carol Hodges, who happens to be a college dean, Rachel Barnes, and Jennifer Bearsan. They say that they're proud of the fact that Colt is the number one English setter in the country right now, but they're more proud of the fact that he's a world-class snuggler. <laughs> it's good to remember, David, that these, as much as they are show dogs, they are dogs. You know, they come home, they steal food off our counters, they sleep on our couches, they shed on our black clothes, they might even drink out of a toilet every once in a while, just like your dog at home. Real dogs, real people. Great family sport. We're glad you're watching with us today. It is indeed. It's been a joy to be with you. Mario Lopez with his family. Hello, boy. Tyler Crady with Conrad, the Shetland Sheepdog. Yes, what a pretty boy. dog this is. Conrad won the herding group here last year. All the shades of gray in that hey, coat. Please. Conrad is the number one Sheltie in the country, number four herding dog. Probably in the top 25 amongst all breeds. Has won 100 best of breeds in its career. Beautiful. Showing very well here. Doing a nice circle around back to your spot, please. Bright, intelligent dogs, they Shelties. Sure very trainable. They do very well in performance events, obedience, agility. Guarding your home. <laughs> Sean's already told us they're rooting for the Frenchie, right? That's exactly right. Yes, here's the bloodhound now. This is Piper, the bloodhound that won the hound group last year. Tara Schultz handling for Susan LaCroix Hamill, the owner. Piper's a three-year-old female. All those wrinkles in those ears, that's all part of the scent gathering process. To be able to run all day long. Doc Barr talking about that face, all those wrinkles. <laughs> 
fun segment with Akbar. Be fun to see these dogs in the American Ninja Warrior competition. <laughs> Here goes Piper. And down along the catwalk, poorly named, by the way. This beautiful Bo Derek. Lovely to have her. She's a wonderful friend to all animals. No secrets, Mario. No secrets. He's <laughs> pleading for calm on the streets, no matter who is <laughs> who is chosen. Here's our West Highland White Terrier. Lil Caesar, owned by doctors John Lowe and William Matthews. Sherry Boyd Handling, the dog's from Hollywood, which comes in handy because between dog shows, it appears in commercials and TV shows. Please. Multiple all-breed best and show winner when it's in the ring. Lil Caesar. We have to remind all these celebrities who are here that the dogs are the stars today. <laughs> I think the celebrities were having fun. It's the first time that people aren't looking at them first. They're looking at the dogs first. But they had a great time here. They were all enjoying themselves. Yeah, it's a chance to have a couple of good sniffs, have a bit of an adrenaline rush. It's Victor Espinosa, American Pharaoh, jockey on the left. Mike Smith on the right. Here's uh, this seemed to be a celebrity favorite here, the French Bulldog. French Bulldog. Princeton is his name. Jennifer Rangel is a handler. Would you show me the mouth, please? Thank you. It's the number one non-sporting dog in 2018 in the country. Top winning male in the history of the breed. Three-year-old male. Jennifer herself is from a long time great dog show family. Has been coming here since she was born, she says. Oh boy. Yeah, nice circle around back to your spot, please. Yes. <laughs> oh. I'll come to you, Mom. <laughs> Wonderful little dog. Very popular. Look at that flat, flat head. His bat ears. <laughs> That's right. Those, those glasses are just killing me. Put my glasses on so I can see the dog that I picked to win. That's right. Mom, do I need glasses? <laughs> Here's Bono. Last dog in our lineup. The Havanese with Taffy McFadden handling. Won the toy group here last year. In the interim, was reserved best in show at Westminster in February. But is currently the number one dog in the country. Bono, Taffy McFadden, of the famed McFadden family, handling. Beautiful dog. Nice. In a nice circle around. Presents very well. This is Denmark taking a look. Nice lineup. So I'm going to move one at a time and around and stop here, please. All right. She's going to have the entire group make their way down the runway. This is not your everyday dog show ring, John, as you said. Nope. As we've said, this is a dog show done differently. We have a lot of fun here. Not that you don't everywhere, but I, we're having a special. I always have fun with my dogs. <laughs> my dogs do something every day that makes me want to run out and call somebody or take their picture. Yeah, That's what it's all about. There's the Westie. And the Frenchie. Oh. The parade of champions, absolutely. Only one will win. 
We'll know in just a few moments here, David. The Havanese bringing up the rear. There's the Frenchie, the Westie. And she's striding purposefully yes. to the judge's table where she'll mark her book. She's made her mind up. You can feel the tension now here in the room. It's gathering. Beautiful lineup. It's a lot of wins out there among these dogs. And so many repeat winners this year, interestingly enough, huh? All right, here we are. David, quickly, your choice. Intrigued by the Doberman, love the Havanese. I'm picking the Havanese. I'm and going to Doberman. The show at the Kennel Club of Beverly Hills is the Havanese. Oh, and that's why you are, in the world of canines, the most famous man. The Havanese is our best in show winner. The Beverly Hills Dog Show presented by Purina.